Hi everybody, it's Robin with Uniquely Robins. Um, today we're going to start on um, making our tassel for this journal. And I had a, one yesterday with a, a, my Happy Mail on it from Carolyn Jensen, who sent me this eyelash trim. And we are going to use some of it on this journal. And we are also going to use some of this ephemera that she sent me for inside the journal. But today we're gonna to work on the tassel. Um, excuse my coffee pot in the way. Gotta have my coffee, you know. We are going to string some beads. If you watched her video, she had um, on how she makes her tassels and things. She showed us a couple of different ways to make her um, bead dangles, where one she crochets them and one where she um, just tied them on. Um, I do know how to crochet, but I don't have a crochet needle that small. So I will be using my uh, the tie-on method. One of these days, I will find the rest of my string. Since I moved everything up here, I can't find anything. Okay. Hope you all liked the little video I put up for you yesterday for, for some fun. I have some ribbon here I'm going to use in it. Definitely going to use some of this eyelash trim. Definitely those three colors. I'm not sure about these two. Um, but I have another journal that I'm going to be working on soon and these two will be perfect for it so I'm going to keep those two for that. I just love this trim. It is so beautiful and soft and I've always wanted to try this eyelash trim. I've never even worked with it before but it is so cool. <laughs> I know I'm easily amused and I really am. <laughs> I love all pretty stuff. Oh. Okay let's see. Um, we're going to use a bulb clip, I do believe, on this. You don't belong in there. And neither do you. You're in the wrong color spot. You're over there where you belong. There's another yellow one down in there too, but I'll dig for it later. All right, I think we're going to start with stringing us some beads, like showed us to do and I have some different colored beads in here of course they're all mixed match now too they just like each other now we're going to use some clear ones and probably some black ones to bring out the black there um, and some ready yellowy orange colored ones those would work I don't have any just orange orange ones but I think the the ready ready yellow color will work if I can see to get this in the hole. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn on the light back here. Cause I'm blind as a bat. All right, where is the hole? There we go. That would help for starters to know where it's at. I don't think that hole goes all the way through. Well. Aha. There's a hole. Now let's see if it goes all the way through. Maybe I just wasn't near the hole. really hard to see the hole on these things. Yeah, see, I don't think it goes all the way through. It doesn't. All right, let me get my other pokey tool. I don't know if we can make it or if it's gonna break. And it's gonna break. These are glass, so and sometimes you'll get a few that don't have a hole all the way through. 
Glad to know it wasn't just that I'm blind as a bat. Hmm. Maybe sending these beads back so they're not. I don't have a hole all the way through them. It's not good. I could just use them to glue down things. There we go. That one's all right. And she moved it up like this and then just tied it. Hope everybody's doing good. All right. Now let's go for a clear one. Yeah, I don't think that one's going all the way through either. Maybe. I'm trying to hold it up to the light so I can see where the hole is. I didn't think my eyesight was that bad. But evidently, it is. They're so smooth, it's hard to even feel where the hole is. There we go. You know, y'all are probably saying, just get on with it, woman. I apologize it's taking me so long because I just can't see those holes. Well, that's going to look pretty. All right, now let's try to get one of these black ones. Can't even really fit, feel for the hole. Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. I know that one goes all the way through because I can see there through it. And you just put it wherever you want it to be. And tie it off. It's going to look kind of cool on there, I think. All right, let's try to make one more of each. I don't want that one because that's red and blue. You want one of these that are red and red and an orangey yellow color. So it will match. Hey, maybe I'm getting the hang of it. I know my eyes are not getting any better. <laughs> and another clear one. Well, no, I picked you because I could see your hole and hmm. Pokey tool comes in handy for lots of things. All right, hands. Now I wasn't having enough trouble that. I thought about getting a needle that would fit through the hole because that would make it a lot faster but and then again it probably won't because I wouldn't be able to thread the needle I know that hole goes all the way through because I can see light aha got it got it I say Double knot this one because it's the end. Come out of there. There. So we have one little string of beads. I could have got them a little more even. There. Of course, not double when the ones in the middle that helps to pull them down where you want them. All right. I know you're hoping and praying and saying, oh, don't do another one because you take too long. But, but I am. Sorry. I'm going to do another one because I'd like at least two on here. Can't believe that one broke. I don't know if I can. I could barely use half of it for something. Hate to throw away.
pretty glass beads. All right, let's start with him. Where's my... The torment we go through for our craft. Okay. I'm going to double knot the ends, both ends, so they don't come off. All right. Now let's find a clear one. Well, that one looks off a little. Wait. See the hole in this one. Aha. I'm just not picking the right ones. What are you all crafting and working on? You guys could post me some pictures. I love to see the stuff you make. Even if you've already posted it on the page, you can post it on here too. I like to look at them. All right, now I think we're to the black and all right, that's purpley color. Oh, that one's got a good size hole in it. I thought I could feel it. Had my grandson over the weekend, my oldest grandson, Andrew. He's eight. Just turned eight. So we had a cake and ice cream and we asked him what he wanted for his birthday did he want Grammy and Paul to go buy him a birthday present or did he want because he's into the PlayStation 4 that my husband has or did he want a, a new game for the PlayStation and he decided he would rather have the game for the PlayStation so my husband was up there searching for what game he wanted. And he came across something that where he could pay $8 a month and get unlimited games. And he asked Andrew if he'd rather do that. And of course, you know, more. He said, yeah. <laughs> so that's what he did. Set that up for him. And he was up there going from one to the other, playing them to see which one he liked the best. And... He played the uh, Lego ones I have up there quite a bit. Oh, that one's just really clear. Wish we'd been fine, but I kind of want these ones that look... They almost look like they're they're broken inside. Like crystal-y in there. I know that one didn't feel like it went all the way through. I don't know if it does or not. I really do apologize this is taking so long. All right, well, let's try to find one we can get in. through. You, come here. Actually, yeah, I can see through that one. I try to get the, the bigger ones because they seem to have really good holes in them. You can see through there. Okay, I'm going to double knot this one. And there we have two. I I think two's enough for now. I may decide later to put more in there, but these pieces out of here, I can't close my lid. The little pieces, I'm just going to have to I'm just gonna throw that away. I was going to try to save the one half because it was kind of like almost directly in half, but I have my container. When they ship this to me, my the little thing that's supposed to close this up was already broken. Of course, I could have sent it back, but if I'd have done that, then it would have took forever to get it back. So, I just keep it in the drawer anyway. So, alright. I had these because I thought we might need them, but we don't. Alright. Get a drink coffee. My fuel to keep going. Okay, so we have our two bead strings. 
Now we get to play with the pretty stuff. And I think I want it, I don't want it real long, so I think I'm gonna make it about that long. So I'll try to cut my pieces fairly the same size. So I'm gonna put a couple black. She had a, a spot to cut in this. Aha, there it is. To put that in so it doesn't get all tangled up. Those are a great idea using those for that. I like that idea. I'm going to move this book out of the way for the time being so you can see more what I'm doing rather than on top of that. Now, the red. I love, love, love this. Red is my color. I do love my red. Okay, there's one. I undid this envelope downstairs and I did peek because I wasn't sure what it was or who it was from at first. And, uh, my cat thought it was for her. I said, oh, no, you don't. You stay away from that. It's not like she plays a whole lot. She's quite overweight. Usually she comes in the front room and just stands there for a second and then just flops over. She don't lay down. She just flops over. My husband gets a crack out of that. Okay. Love this stuff. I have to get me some more of this. It is fun to play with. Okay. Now, let's put us a couple of pieces of this ribbon. I don't have, do I have any smaller rounds? Hold on, let me grab this other one, see if it's skinnier. Yes, it is. We'll use the skinnier one. I think that will look better. This one's, I don't want it to take, be so fat that it takes away from the, the eyelash trim because that's the star of the show. Lay them out this way it might be easier. Let's see what am I doing? Love this stuff. Okay. Yeah, so this is much, much smaller. Drop it there. And there. And then we'll put our beads in there, in the mix. I might make, should have made a couple more of those rows of beads. If it wouldn't have taken so long, I probably would have, but. And let's see. What color of bulb do we want to use? We have this coppery color, which would work well. I think the white's too bright. We have silver which wouldn't be bad. And we have red. And the black wouldn't be bad. I'm thinking, oh, let me put them on here and see. See which one looks the best. Hmm. If we have red and black and orange in there, I'm thinking of using the coppery color, because it'll, well, that's not really copper though, is it? I was gonna say it would bring that out a little bit, but I think the silver does that more than it does. All right, so you're out. We have an awful lot of red, so you're out. So we're now down to silver or black. I kind of like the stark black, but it's 
it's dark enough that it will kind of blend in a little bit so you'll see more of the tassel or do we want to use the silver which stands out more I think we're going to go with the black okay didn't take me as long to make that decision as I thought probably you as you thought either okay I'm going to slide these down. Now, I don't know if this is how everybody makes their ta or their tassels or how everybody does it. This is just the way I do it. Okay, which one are you? I'm trying to get a hold of this guy. Here, we'll just do it this way. Because he wasn't quite as even as I want him to be. Oh, that's going to be cute. That's going to be very cute on there. Okay. And now I'm going to... This is like a safety pin-like thing. And I'm going to hook it to this book. Um, I may eventually put... Later put a... Uh, a grommet. A small grommet in there to hold this. Probably will... But for today, we're just making the tassel, so I'm not going to put that in there yet. But I want to put that on there to hold it, because I am going to put a piece of string around it up here to hold it. To hold it all still. Where'd my black go? There it is. It's trying to run away from me. I try not to waste this, but I have to get it big enough so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going above the beads and under the um, bulb pen. Just enough to tie it all together so it doesn't go flopping around. There. And I think we have some of this left. Do I want to cut that off or do I want to put the beads on there? Tie it two or three times to make sure it's not going to fall apart. I think we're going to cut it. I may end up stringing a couple more beads off camera. Same way we did the last time. Just a couple more strands to make it a little um, fuller with the beads. Or I don't know. I kind of like it like that. Now I will trim this just a little bit. Give me my little haircut. But I will not waste this because I can use this on little snippets on the page or something like that. Um, because that is great stuff. I know it's not cheap and I will not waste it. Well, that little piece of ribbon I can, but not the, the eyelash trim. See, I think that's pretty on there. That matches very nicely to this book. And I just like to play with it. Yeah, that'll be great. And then we're going to string some beads and stuff on the bottom here. I know people like these strings, but these two are got to go. Um, but these here I will string beads on. And then starting... Uh, tomorrow we will um, work on the inside of this journal and it has two um, signatures in it uh, they're already sewed in a lot of times I do sew my signatures I know some people will decorate them put their pockets and stuff in before they put them in but I have just always um, you know I'm self-taught anyway so I have just always sewed them in and then did my embellishments on them. But I did, um, no, I guess I didn't. I thought I put a pocket back there, but I didn't. Did I put one here? Nope. No, I didn't. So we might put a little side tuck or something on there. Who knows? But we're gonna decorate these two signatures inside starting tomorrow. And we'll get this book done. And then we can put it, get it put up on Etsy for, for it's awaiting its new home. But I just love, love this fabric. And I have quite a bit of this fabric. Um, 
I've actually made, I think, two journals this size out of it. Um, and I have made, I think, four just smaller ones. And here, coming up soon, we're going to make some um, needle books. And we may use some of this material to make the needle books for the outside um, and then felt on the inside. But I have all the PC parts I need to make those. Um, except for the chalk, but I think that's okay. We don't really have to put that in. But, um, and we're going to lace them up. I don't know if we're going to use this material or not. I like it. We might make a couple out of it, just kind of plain ones. Uh, but then a couple of them I want to really embellish out with some lace. Um, so those will be pretty too. And those will be coming up in the next couple weeks. So there we have it. But there's our little tassel. And I think it looks adorable on there. And I love the stringed beads on it. I just love it. I'll just sit here most of the day and play with it. I have to put it aside or if it's too close to me, that's all I'll get done. But, yep, that's that. Um, thank you so much for watching my videos, for liking, subscribing, and um, hitting that little bell. I do appreciate it so much. And I appreciate you um, watching the UCC videos and subscribing to those um, YouTube channels. You never know. One week, it may be your channel on there. So thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great night. Stay safe. God bless. Bye-bye.